According to Waterbury Police, the officer that was involved in the shooting was shot in the chest but was saved by a bulletproof vest. And we did speak to people on scene who say that they witnessed this entire incident and say it was chaotic. This is really scary. You know what I mean? I'm praying for the families involved. You know, this is a tragedy. Instantly, the three police cars pull in, pull on the street and you hear pop, 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 just shot, just shots going off. A sound Sierra Fleury tells Fox 61 she won't ever forget. Moments prior before the shooting, Waterbury police say they were conducting a stolen car investigation. That is until something alerted the suspects, causing them to run, nearly hitting Fleury. Literally inches from my mirror, um, my stepson and his friend were in the car. We were bracing ourselves for impact the way it was looking. The details are still hazy, but the chase ended on Marley Place, where one officer got shot. He was transported to St. Mary's Hospital in a very timely fashion, given first aid by other officers on the scene. And that officer is, uh, is doing fine and recovering now. Four suspects have been taken into custody after being found about 15 minutes down the road at Oxford Airport. Fox 61's cameras catching a glimpse of the vehicle driven by the group before it was towed away. The state police have taken over parts of the investigation and are calling for patients. At this point, we are in the infancy stages of this investigation. A lot of information, a lot of details as it relates to this investigation cannot and will not be released at this moment. Witnesses like Flurry says this could have ended much worse. I could have, I'm having a baby tomorrow. Like I could have been in a completely different situation where I'm not having a baby tomorrow and I'm not waking up tomorrow. The investigation of the stolen car complaint will be handled by Waterbury police while the investigation of the officer involved shooting will be handled by state police. We're in Waterbury. Brian Didlake, Fox 61 News.